Hey guys, good evening. I hope everybody's doing well. I've been out all day and as I'm walking in, my phone starts going off. I get a lot of messages as I get all day long. And um, apparently there was a video made earlier today, I'm not sure when, I guess today, earlier today, by some loser by the name of Anthony Aweto, where apparently he's at some uh, event, some political event in Miami and as they are, as him and the uh, president of an org by the name of um, uh, Lat um, Lat Latinos, for tr Latinos for America First, I believe is the name of the org, um, they're harassing me on a live video. So here you have the president of this org, Latinos for America First, I believe is the name of the org, um, walking down this event, this event where they are being most likely sponsored uh, to be at, uh, where they're supposed to be fighting for you, the American people, where they're supposed to be working for you with your money, with the American people's money, with the donor's money, where they are supposed to be fighting for America. But instead, they are out there pretending they are living it up and having the time of their lives and thinking of me and cyber harassing me. I am what's on their mind. I am their objective. I am their target. Again, I don't know if I should find it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I should find it um, flattering or if I find it extremely, extremely shameful and humiliating for them, obviously. I mean, I hate to break it to you, Anthony, but while you were in prison and while you were beating women up and going to prison over and over and getting arrested, I was actually traveling the world. I was actually attending some of the best universities in the world. Again, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just being real. Anthony, I know this is you know a big deal to you. Um, but you and I, you guys and I come from very, very different places. Um, I'm actually educated, you know, I'm not like you, like you guys, obviously. Um, I, <laughs> I don't think anyone, to be honest with you, Anthony, would be jealous, especially someone like me, uh, would be jealous of you or anything that you do. I know that going to Miami for you may be a big deal. I lived in Miami for years. I've lived in New York. I've lived in LA. I've lived in Texas. I've lived anywhere I wanted. I've traveled anywhere I wanted since I was a kid. To me, getting on a plane, Anthony, and going to Miami um, is not a big deal. I was just in Miami two months ago and all of you were flipping out and going crazy. I don't know why. I've traveled since I was six months old. Uh, traveling to me is it's not a big deal. Attending these uh, events that to you obviously are such a big deal. Um, to me, I've been doing it for years. I've attended events that who, where production has been over a half a million dollars multiple times. And again, to you, it may be something you've never done before. Um, but to me, it's really not a big deal. I could be there if I really wanted to. I would have just gotten on a plane. And I know that you can't fly because apparently you can't fly. But I can fly and go anywhere I want. Um, and again, I just find it extremely, extremely shameful, humiliating, especially because through your multiple lawsuits, frivolous lawsuits that your group and your uh, people from uh, re associated with you have filed against me, you claim that I harass you, you claim that I'm, that I'm a stalker and a bully, uh, but here you are at this event uh, harassing me and I am what's on your mind. Um, it's uh, it's honestly really sad to uh, to see you out there with me being your your objective um, while you can't even hold a martini glass when Mr. Roger Stone hands you a martini. It's really that embarrassing, and it's embarrassing to see um, the the president of this org and yourself. Um, walking around harassing people such as myself when I couldn't even I couldn't care less and people send that to me because obviously you've been harassing me for the last two and a half years um, trying to prevent me from working and fighting for America the way I always have going viral at the border because you uh, uh, probably according to you I'm some sort of threat to you <laughs> um, but again you you guys and I are 
nothing alike. We're nothing similar. Um, just last week, I was in Texas, and they were threatening me that if I came to the border, they would once again, once again, stalk me, harass me, and serve me with one more of their frivolous lawsuits that they've um, that they filed against me over the last two years. And I've won every single lawsuit that they filed against me. These are the people that claim that I harass them, that I stalk them, and this is great evidence. Thank you for putting this out there today um, directly from you and the president of your org. Um, if you decide to harass me and come after me again, this will be great evidence. You're not gonna stop me from doing anything. You never have, you never will. We are completely, completely different <laughs> different people we come from different places and there's nothing that you can say do any place where you could go that would make me jealous or want to be like you or be where you are or be in your shoes believe me so anyway i'm going to leave the video here for you guys for you to watch and see what the president and uh her associate the president of this org and her associate um, do while they are out there supposed to, uh, supposedly working for you, the American people, with your money and with, uh, and with the donor's money, but yet harassing me. Okay, watch the video. It's coming up next. Awesome. Welcome to a Latinos for America First sponsored event. Tell them, Bianca. Tell That's them. right, baby. Shout out to the pigeon. Shout out. Shout out to the pigeon.